Good afternoon and welcome to today's version of uh, Daily Visits with God. A couple of things I want to say. First of all, uh, apologize for any lawnmower sounds you're hearing outside. In our backyard, there's a little neighborhood housing development park that's just on the back outside of our backyard. And um, the part that adjoins my yard is, yeah, it's just a small little point. I don't know why, but the guy who's mowing has been through it, I think, three times now. And I've only got a limited window that I'm able to make all of my um, uh, recordings and so forth. And so I just don't have much choice but to do it with him in the background. I've kind of waited till he, I thought he was done with my little area and he's moved on, but then he just keeps coming back. And then let me also say this, so when by the time you hear this recording, it's, uh, this broadcast, it'll be June 8th, and that is my birthday. I'll be 62 years old on that day. Uh, it's a funny thing. I don't feel a day over um, 62 years old. Uh, it's amazing how fast time goes by. Um, in my own mind, I have um, uh, tremendous difficulty believing that I'm not in my 20s still. It just feels like time has flown by so very quickly. But I'm very thankful for God, to God and for His goodness in our lives. And you'll also know that uh, on June 8th, my, my wife and I will be out of town. We're in, in Kentucky this week uh, visiting that Ark Encounter. And I want to be, thank my church, publicly thank the folks of Bible Baptist Church in Puyallup for affording us this trip. I, I really do appreciate it. And it was something that my wife and I have been wanting to see. And uh, you gave this as a gift to us some time ago, so many months ago now. And uh, we were able to make this trip. And just thank you very, very much for that. So today's devotion will be out of Job chapter 28 and verse 12. And here's what Job says, the Word of God says. It says, but where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? I don't know how many years ago now it was that um, that my whole family took a vacation um, to an area of the Washington State that's called the Methow Valley. And the area is now just rich in apple orchards and cattle ranches, that kind of thing. But it was originally settled by, by gold prospectors. And so since we were going to be in that area, we did take some time to learn a little bit about prospecting. Not a lot of time, a lot about it, but a little bit about it prospecting and searching for hidden treasure, the precious metals, is, it's a difficult task and there's a bit of a science to it. Prospectors look for certain evidences of gold and then begin panning uh, streams and creeks near that evidence um, and they know that gold kind of it washes downstream and so gold downstream likely might means that there is a vein of gold upstream. So they're happy to collect the, the flakes and the nuggets in the water, but they're really looking for the place to start digging in the mountain for the real treasure. As difficult as it is, it's possible to find that vein and claim it for oneself. They'll work at it. Well, Job uses that example and, and that of other precious substances to then draw us to how precious wisdom is. While it's possible for men to discover precious substances, no such possibility exists with wisdom and understanding. And there's no uh, tell to give evidence of its presence nearby. It's not obtained through science, discovery, or hard work. Wisdom, Job reveals, is only found in the fear of the Lord and departing of evil. evil. That's in Job 28 and verse 28. You know, the mo most precious of all commodities a man can obtain according to Job 28 and 18, comes from God. A man must go to him by his way in order to receive it. 